All right, here we are in a beautiful Lake Havasu City morning. Birds are chirping in the background early in the park here. Here we are looking at a very nice little modern hot rod, 1933 Ford Coupe. It's a factory five. These cars come in kit form and you build them. It's a beautiful little car. We'll walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. Nicely done by the owner. He purchased the car in about 2010 or the kit itself and proceeded to take five, six, seven years with a heart, heart attack in the middle there to get it done. Um, a lot of the professional work was done, the body paint and interior by professionals here in Lake Havasu. And a lot of the assembly work was done by the owner over a multitude of years. Nice presentation, fun car to drive. These uh, factory five cars are a real, real, really well engineered car. Super cool chassis on them. Uh, it's finished in a, uh, they're a full composite body. Uh, fiberglass body. It's finished in like a billet silver metallic, very nicely done. Factory built-in hood scoop here, clamshell style hood. We'll have a little clip where we'll show you where it shuts. Nice subtle pinstriping throughout. The bottom side of the car is a candy brandywine metallic that looks really nice. It has some nice marbling gold leaf in the center here. There's pinstriping throughout. It has a 20-inch American Racing wheels on the rear, polished, and 18s on the front. Kumo speed-rated tires that are recent within the last couple years. Fenders are nicely bobbed. They have a nice fit. It's got a high boy look, but without the running boards and that type of thing. They sit low, they handle, they're fun, like a go-kart on wheels. We'll get you inside as we walk around the rest of the way up. Front here is bicycle-style fenders or prowler-style fenders that are mounted to the front suspension. Again, finished in the candy brandy wine. Has LED lights, turn signals on the front fenders here. Hot rod style headlamps. Again, some nice scrolling work, that type of stuff. Underneath the hood's a Ford 302 V8, automatic overdrive transmission. Has a uh, Dana uh, rear axle with 373 ratio. Just a nice combination of color and hot rod. You'll definitely get uh, attention. He's won a couple of awards when it was just completed in 16, 17 at uh, Factory 5 shows. Call it a 33 Ford Hot Rod, three window coupe basically. He's put mirrors on both sides. Nice billet hood side panels here. Those are part of the components you can get from Factory 5. It has power windows on it. Interior was done by Recovery Room here in Lake Havasu City. Silver inserts, trunk matches, bucket seats with a full console, sole. See the Factory 5 floor mats on it. Really nice uh, dash on it with a billet style inch, I mean, excuse me, a carbon fiber style insert. Has a custom auto sound audio in it. Low car shifter, emergency brake. Headliners matches the uh, Seat inserts in the trunk. Doors shut really nice. Car's super lightweight, plenty of horsepower. Rated about 300 horsepower on this car. You can kind of get a really good feel of the billet silver metallic here. It's just beautiful. Step back so you can take a look at it here. Recessed tail lights here in the rear or Frenched in, as probably you call them, they're LED taillights. The paint was done by Scott's Custom Colors here in Lake Havasu City. Great road or around the town uh, cruiser. Fuel tank is right here in the body shell between the trunk and the seat. Fuel cell, and it's got a fill right here, so it's easy to pop some gas in it. Monday morning in the park here. Doors open traditionally. Suicide. What I mean traditionally is handles. It's got handles that actually function on the outside. Has a uh, chrome tilt steering column in it. Of course modern wiring, that type of thing. It's actually, I'm a big guy it's easy to sit back in here and take a good feel factory 5 uh, steering wheel factory 5 emblem up here it has vintage air conditioning and heat 
Power windows like we talked about, those are low car shifters, cup holders. Has a custom auto, auto sound audio system in it. Has defrost here. We'll get in the rest of the way here and fire it up here. Well, I'm comfortable sitting here. Starts right up, I didn't even have to touch the gas. 586 miles on the odometer of uh, time of inspection here. Pack works, all the gauges work, water temperature 150, oil 50, uh, bolts are, you know, almost 14, 13 and a half, fuel gauge three quarter. Rev it up here for you. Get out and let you hear it run. Alright, we'll get you underneath the hood where the horsepower begins. Very nicely done. Uh, Ford 302 V8, so Ford horsepower and a Ford. Has a Ford AOD automatic overdrive transmission. It has a uh, Dana rear axle with a 373 ratio. So it's just right for the AOD. Get out and drive this one on the road. These cars were designed to be driven. So uh, aluminum radiator with electric cooling fan up front here. It has, uh, I hit my elbow there. Uh, the ad fully adjustable shocks up front on the center here, tubular suspension. We'll have a little bit of video up on the lifter for you and cover that for you. It has a uh, GM style HEI distributor, has a March serpentine belt drive system up front here. The VIN tag is right here. This is uh, Factory 5 Racing uh, FFR 33 hot rod. I believe I'll get the car number for you here, the body number on it. Nice uh, scrolling on the hood there. Billet engine dress, finned aluminum valve covers, has uh, uh, wrapped headers to keep the engine compartment nice and cool here. Nice dual exhaust, air conditioning, has a uh, Edelbrock intake manifold with Endura-Shine finish on it, an Edelbrock carburetor. Use braided AN fitting lines on it. Also has a heater. So it's heat and AC. So the hood sits down there. It just pushes it back, falls into place. We'll get you in the trunk here. Very nicely done. Matches the inside of the car. Done by Recovery Room in Havasu. The inserts, the silver inserts here match the seat inserts. Underneath here is an Odyssey battery. Uh, this is a custom auto sound CD player here. It's connected to the radio up front. All right, we'll get you a peek at the undercarriage here. We actually... Uh, had it up on the lift and took some great still shots for you. Undercarriage here is so nice outside, we thought we'd cover the undercarriage. Um, very nicely done, fully engineered chassis as we talked about during the walk around. These factory five chassis do great in autocross and driving on the road, they're just a good safe chassis. Has a uh, uh, Dana 10 bolt rear axle with 373 ratio, has four wheel disc brakes, has Coney adjustable shocks in the rear so you can change the ride height any way you like it. Take you all the way around it here and kind of give you a good feel. Nicely done little hot rod, modern hot rod. Has uh, 3M coating on the front edge of the fenders here to keep from rock chips on it. The back tire size on it here is a uh, 295, 35, 20 American racing wheels. So 20s in the rear. Custom dual exhaust. Said fully engineered tubular box stru structured chassis. Up front here is kind of a neat front suspension, makes it great to handle as a cantilever style front suspension, I guess is what I would call it. Um, you'll see 
up front here in these uh, cycle or prowler style fenders. Up front here is the shock. We left the hood open so you can kind of get a feel there. Fully adjustable coilovers up front. Up front here we have a 255-35ZR18 tires on American Racing Wheels Kumos. These tires by the way are fairly new within the last year or two. Nice little aero dam up front here. The idea of the disc brakes up front. Overall, just a really killer little hot rod. Heard it run throughout the video here in a couple spots. A lot of activity out in the highway today. There you go. All right, he's taking it back to his garage. Could be going to your garage. Make sure you go to Spud's garage.